If you do a Google search of the best neighborhood in Honolulu, this neighborhood will consistently pop up number one. It's Beverly Hills of LA, it's the Upper East Side of New York City, it's Palm Beach of Florida, it's old Hollywood, but it's still Hawaii, darling. Welcome to Kahala. <laughs> If you ask a Kahala resident to close their eyes and to get really clear on what they like about living in Kahala, it's pretty much always going to be the location. Now, if you're like the buyers that find us through our website and through YouTube that are either moving to Hawaii or moving back to Hawaii or looking for their next forever home, um, please subscribe here and please contact us through dwellhawaii.com. We would love to help you. But most of the buyers that find us will say, I want to live in Honolulu. Well, Honolulu is 68 square miles big. It's, it covers a lot of territory. And so I'll usually ask after that, well, where in Honolulu? Like, where are the boundary points? And most people will say, okay, I want to stick to like Nu'uanu to Kahala. Because anything really past Kahala becomes boonies. And I don't mean that it's a whole lot of nothing. It just becomes a little bit too far for people. So really between Nu'uanu and Kahala is known as Central Honolulu. Kahala isn't necessarily a beach community, but it does have a very beautiful beach. This is Kahala Beach, and in the distance you can see Kahala Resort, which hosts some really wonderful restaurants. Actually, you can refer to our blog at dwellhawaii.com for some of the top restaurants here in Kahala. Next to me is the Wailai Country Club, which is the most prominent of all of the country clubs here on Oahu. It's also the home to the Sony Open. Now, the history of Kahala is really interesting. Kahala is a highly esteemed area, and actually King Kamehameha the Great sailed over here from Maui. Imagine him coming through here with all of his warriors in canoes, and he came here to conquer Oahu and get into a battle with his cousin, Kalani Kupule. And that battle happened further in Honolulu. There's a whole story on that. Speaking of Kahala and the name Kahala, it's, it's the name for the amberjack fish. Really, really delicious fish. That fish used to live here in the shallow waters at Kahala. And you know, that fish is kind of just like independent and sophisticated. And I feel like that's really what Kahala is all about. It's quiet, sophistication, and class. hasn't changed very much over the years. Kahala Mall has kind of always been the mall of East Honolulu. It's single level and there's a lot of really cute boutiques. We do have a Whole Foods there now and I feel like Whole Foods is often very significant of you know things to come in different neighborhoods. There's a Whole Foods here, there's one in Kaka'ako, there's one in Kailua. I rest my case. But Kahala is also known for some really great local places and we've got this new stretch here that just opened in 2021 and we have Jade Dolan's fantastic pizza and kind of like a pub type of place, Perv Donut Shop, and this here, Foodland Market, or Kahala Market by Foodland Farms. Let's go check it out. Oh my gosh, I love these truffle chips. But anyway, even the grocery store or the market rather is like quaint and quiet, sophisticated, very fancy fancy. Kahala is the flattest neighborhood with lots that average around 9,000 square feet or more, ensuring that you'll be able to use every inch of your property with friends, with family, or with pets. And of course, maintaining a flat lot is much easier, as well as constructing or adding on to your new home. Along with flat lots comes really pedestrian-friendly walkways and bike paths and sidewalks. And it's so great for those evening strolls to Kahala Mall or to the beach. caveat to flat lots is that only a few streets have ocean views and you guessed it those homes rarely come on the market and also the needle really starts to move on price once ocean views are involved 
you want a Kahala comparable location but you don't want to sacrifice views, look to some neighboring communities like Waialai Nui Ridge, maybe Kaimuki, some of the other ridges like Hawaii Loa Ridge. By the way, subscribe here. We'll be doing an upcoming video on the Honolulu Hills to showcase those areas. But this home that we're in right now is the perfect example of a home you'll find in Kahala in about the three to four million dollar price range. Now one thing Kahala does well is outdoor spaces. Let's go take a look at the outside of this house. Homes closer to Wai'alai Country Club are known as Old Kahala. They're more single level, more nostalgic. And then as you get further away from Wai'alai Country Club, you're gonna find a more cohesive sense of larger estates and grand homes like this one. Now, if you've ever looked at a luxury condo in Kaka'ako, you'll often hear developers reference Kahala and because they want to create seamless spaces of the outdoors and the indoors. But Kahala homes are often imitated and rarely duplicated. Kahala homeowners and developers spare no expense in making their outdoor spaces beautiful like this one. Now speaking of prices, they range from about $2 million for what most would consider a teardown up to about $23 million for one of 50 to 60 fabulous oceanfront lots on half of an acre or more. Our median price is about $3.8 million in 2022 thanks to COVID, but those are starting to soften up. If you're hoping to find another neighborhood that's like Kahala, I'm sorry to say that it really doesn't exist. There's no place like it. If you're hoping for an entry level way to get in here, maybe by way of a condo, those don't really exist either. They're very few and far between and they, pr they range in price at about one and a half million at least. There was even a guy, mm, I wanna say about 10 to 15 years ago, um, Genshiro Kawamoto, and he came from Japan. He was a real estate tycoon. He bought up 20 plus homes and didn't take care of them the story goes that he was hoping to depress the neighborhood so that he could buy up even more. And yeah, the homes had some deferred maintenance. He filled in the swimming pools. But Alexander and Baldwin bought those homes, put them right back on the market, and nothing ever really happened to Kahala. This place has continued to maintain its appeal and its esteem, and it's very, very resilient. If we can help you get to know Kahala a little bit more, any other neighborhood here on Oahu, please reach out to us and let us know. Thank you.